Hey everybody, it's Fat Frog, and today I thought I'd talk about spark powder for you newer players. And it is one of the most valuable things that you can craft early on, uh, though you might not really think about it because it's so easy to craft. So let's just take a look really quick at the Ingram for spark powder here. So let's take a look at that. So, yep, there's a level 6 there. It only takes 2 flint and 1 stone, and we're going to have to craft that in the mortar and pestle. And I have mine on the table just because it looks nicer. So let's put some the 2 to 1 ratio in here. And then we'll just craft up 100 spark powder. And you can see it's crafting up pretty quickly. Uh, even in the mortar and pestle. And the other thing that you're going to see is on me here is the XP that I'm getting from crafting this thing. So this is a, actually a good way to make XP early on or actually at almost any point in the game. You're only getting 0.24 um, experience points for every spark powder that you make, but you're getting, you're making a lot of it and you're earning that XP all over the place. So any place on, you're on the map, if you've got a bunch of spark powder crafting up, you're still going to be getting that XP. Uh, so we're going to use spark powder mostly early on for uh, fueling things. So we can fuel our campfire here, we can fuel our torch, and it's going to burn a lot longer than wood. And also it's going to not produce um, charcoal, which is great, especially for cooking meat in a campfire because you're not going to have to worry about managing this inventory and stuff like that especially when you're trying to cook prime meat because that takes quite a while so it burns twice as long as wood so in a campfire once uh spark powder is going to burn for 60 seconds versus 30 seconds for wood and in a standing torch uh, like this one it's going to burn for 13 minutes and 20 seconds uh, per spark powder so that's a long time even though wood is six minutes and 40 uh, 13 minutes of course is you know much longer than that and then we can also use spark powder to um, fire up our refining forges again without charcoal. And the other great thing to that uh, spark powder eventually leads to is making gunpowder. So we'll just put some spark or charcoal in there, and we'll craft up a hundred uh, gunpowder. The other thing we can run over and do is use our spark powder to make um, prime meat and regular meat jerky. And I left my spark powder over there, but I've got a bunch of it here in the chemistry bench. So let's grab two of those stacks. And so the spark powder is going to preserve cooked meat, but with the additional oil, let's drop that in there, that in there and that in there we're going to make the um, cooked meat and prime meat jerky and I'm using an S plus preserving bin so it'll actually show you the little uh, time it's taking to craft it takes a long time to make that so that's going to be great uh, because it takes a long time to spoil um, that jerky and then also it's mostly useful actually in crafting up different recipes for kibble and whatnot and so the other thing you know that uh, you're going to need uh, spark powder for it's an ingredient crafting the, uh, the fabricator over there later on and also the chemistry bench and if you're joining a tribe you know that is already well established and has a chemistry bench this is a really good way to get xp because we can go over here and i've already got this stuff in here and then i can just craft up tons of spark powder and let's look at my experience points are going up really quickly you know, we're, I don't know how many uh, spark powder we're producing a second, but we're producing quite a lot. And, you know, because it's a main ingredient in gunpowder, you're going to need a lot of spark powder at some point. So as long as you've got a place to store it, then you're in pretty good shape. So that's spark powder in a nutshell, I believe. You know, that I'm not going to list everything that you craft with it, but that should be uh, a good little tutorial for you today. If you're interested in other how-to videos for early players. I've got a link to a playlist down there in the description. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.